welcome back to my channel here at cake up and curls i know that's like the standard I, I gotta get out of that i gotta pick something else welcome back to my channel here at cake up and curls so i am going to be doing a video that was actually requested i have a couple of requests and they are definitely coming your way these are this is actually one of the videos that i was requested to do and that was on color correcting so um, I typically there are some days that I color correct more than others and um, I picked doing this video first thing in the morning just because I do notice that I have some darkness around my eyes. This video is going to be dedicated to color correcting. So I um, am definitely going to get into that but before I do obviously you guys know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share some requests. I would love to bring new ideas to you guys. Like I said, I have a couple of requests that I'm already working on, um, but definitely drop your requests below. I like to hear whether it be hair related, makeup related, lifestyle related on um, ways that I can help or videos that I can bring to you guys. I'm done rambling, so if you guys want to see more about color correcting, keep on watching. I am going to be sharing um, my my routine on how i color correct um and also some tips on maybe what not to do when you're color correcting as well so um the color corrector i actually picked up from my local target is this color corrector right here this is from black radiance i've only used this color corrector one time before which i actually did like i mean i don't have any um you know dislikes or comments about this color corrector there are so many color correcting palettes out there but i'm just going to share a couple of my favorites so so, um, this black radiance is a really good one and what I liked about this um, black radiance one is that this is um, for more of a medium to um, like lighter skin tone which I like but black radiance also does have a color correcting palette um, for deeper darker tones as well so like the and I will show a picture like that. As you can tell, the difference in the peachy colors and the concealed colors as well are a little bit darker for women with a darker skin tone. So I really, really like that. Um, and then some of my other favorite ones are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Um, and I know you guys have seen me use these before in my previous videos as far as the actual concealers itself, but they do have uh, color correctors. And I love these. These are probably some of my favorite favorite ones I'm going to be using these in this video today um, and I like these because they're very inexpensive you can either purchase these at your local beauty supply store or Amazon also has them as well so for my prime girls out there you can get these for cheap I think they're no more than three dollars um, to pick these up and then Amazon does have like little bundles in which you could buy the correctors as well as like concealers as well really really good very afford affordable so I really like these and then last but not least um, and obviously you guys can see that I have used sorry you guys has can see that I have used this corrector um, a number a number of times I actually have hit the pan on that orange corrector side which I actually really like um, and then it comes with like a highlighter like a cream highlighter um, shimmer highlighter in there as well but I really really like that orange and this is the Maybelline master camo palette as well that I picked up from Target you know making sure you're using the right color when you are color correcting so I'm just going to use this palette as an example um so starting with the green color right there so the green color is meant to neutralize any redness so on the color wheel the green is opposite of red so that is meant to cancel out any redness that you have the yellow is meant to highlight and brighten so uh, I find myself actually not reaching for the yellow too much only because I would typically just use a lighter concealer that has a yellow undertone to brighten my skin purple um, again I or the lilac color I typically do not use that but that is used to brighten and um, um, correct yellow undertones but that is for and like I said I don't find myself normally reaching for these two colors to really do much brightening just because I typically just use a concealer to do so um, and last but not least um, is going to be this peachy tone or in this case for my um, LA girl pro concealer is like a orangey to peachy tone that is meant to conceal dark circles um, any dark spots or any hyperpigmentation so um, I'm pretty much going to start with applying um, my corrector so like I said 
I'm going to grab for my favorite corrector at the moment, and that is going to be the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer Corrector. All right, so when you are color correcting, um, you have to kind of just determine if you are going to use your finger or a brush. Um, there are times where I've done both. There are times where I have been in a little bit of a rush and I simply am just applying it with my finger. That is sometimes the best application for some people. Um, and then a good brush alternative is going to be this e.l.f. brush. I think I purchased this at Target for just a dollar. I mean, e.l.f. brushes are very inexpensive um, and it's really good for applying things like concealer or correctors or anything like that. Um, so I am going to be showing you by using my brush just because I think that I get the best application by using my brush. So what I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit of that concealer over top uh, on my hand. And um, I have a good recommendation when you are applying color corrector. You have to be careful when you are using a brush when you're color correcting because you don't wanna make the application a little too thick. So if you are choosing to use a brush rather than use your finger um, to apply that, you want to be very, very light on the hand. Um, and just be careful when you're applying it because the purpose is to correct and we don't really want to add a super thick layer onto our skin of color corrector. Um, so you want to be as light as possible on the hand when you are applying it. So I'm going to show you what to do on this side and what, to, what not to do on this side when you are color correcting with a brush. So here I am just grabbing a very small amount of that and I know it probably doesn't look that small on there but um, if you want to color correct with a brush you are wanting to make sure you start with a very light layer. You don't want to go in with a lot of color corrector um, and then you're kind of looking a little orange underneath your foundation. So I'm just using a very small amount and I know that I do have some hyperpigmentation there so I am just going to simply apply that underneath that dark area and I'm going to focus that right there I'm not going to bring it all the way down like I am concealing I am simply wanting to correct and again I am starting with the lightest layer possible so here I am simply just adding that right underneath the eye in the area that I want to correct Right, so once I am done, this is the first layer of adding that um, corrector there. And although I feel that I could probably go for another very light layer just in this area alone, I want to show you guys the difference of uh, the correcting on this side as opposed to this side. Obviously, you can see I do have um, a little bit of darkness still around this eye that you can still see as opposed to this side. Um, so like I said, start with the lightest layer lightest layer possible and then you can build up from there um, but I am going to move on to some other um, dark pigmentation on my skin which is right here Is pretty much it for my uh, correcting on this side um, of my face but I want to show you guys um, <clears throat> this again is the first layer so I am going going to go back in with a this is a second light layer specifically right here underneath the eye want to make sure you keep it focused in the area that you want to correct you don't need to drag it down or apply it like concealer so here I simply just kept it in this area and then obviously underneath the eye I just kept it right there in that area so I want to show you guys on the do side and I have made the mistake of doing this before in the past is applying a thicker layer but also like concealer which you absolutely don't need to do as you can see I mean, obviously, that's just a little way too much. I'm also going to correct the darkness right here that I have along with some acne scarring. That's pretty much it. So moving on to this green corrector. So 
you know if you find that you really don't need to use this corrector um, that's perfectly fine you can kind of stop at the orange or the peachy tone corrector that you're looking to correct in. like I said keep it moving um, but there are some times where I suffer from like acne or some redness on my skin um, specifically right here in my cheek area and I do want to correct that side just a little bit now the other side like i said i mean i don't really have any room to do any correcting because i kind of over corrected before um but i'm just going to show you in the same area that i corrected on what i would not do As you can see over here I look like a damn clown that's pretty much it when I'm talking about color correction. I'll show you guys next what I do before I apply my foundation onto the skin and that is set my corrector and have just recently been putting it into my regiment to set my um, corrector just because I don't really want it to move underneath my foundation um, so what I'm gonna do is take my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and if you don't have any translucent powder or a loose powder like this you can simply just use your foundation you like a powder foundation or a pressed powder so here I am just taking a little bit of translucent powder and I am just tapping off the excess and I am simply just setting underneath my eye area like I said we don't want that corrector to move at all so we want to keep that all in place especially when we go to put our foundation on um, we don't want it to move underneath. And for foundation I am using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation foundation that is in 340 and right now my favorite foundation brush I'm using is the oh, favorite foundation I am using at the moment is the Morphe um, Y6 brush I really like it because it has that flat top at the very top there and it is like a harder synthetic brush so this is one of my favorite brushes that I'm currently using at the moment um, so my tip I would use um, when applying foundation over corrector is to um, pretty much press that foundation into the skin so if you are using like a powder foundation you just want to make sure you use motions like this instead of using wiping motions because again you don't really want to risk moving any of that product that you put underneath your um, foundation um, and you don't really want to wipe it off So instantly you can see that foundation over my corrector onto the skin. I mean, the application is almost flawless, you guys. Leaving this area right here underneath my eye open because I am going to be going in with a lighter concealer to brighten underneath the eye. But I just want to show you guys the application of that foundation on this side, and that is a close-up. looks amazing, you guys. Like, as I stated before, the reason why you want to use lighter layers is because you really don't want to add an extra layer um, onto your skin. You don't want to have your skin look very, very cakey. I'm going to show you guys um, what it looks like with using this same brush and applying foundation on the left side of my face. But instead, when I am applying my foundation, whether you're using a powder foundation or a liquid foundation in this case, is I am going to be wiping that using motions like this to apply my foundation now you do have the option of using a beauty blender which i'm sorry my beauty blender is not clean so i was not going to be using that and i like this alternative as well so if you're not a person that wants to use a brush that's perfectly fine you do have the option of also using a beauty blender and working that foundation into the skin as well which i think is a really good alternative I wanted to show you guys the final um, 
ap application of my foundation on this side of my face so I'm gonna give you guys a close-up and I want you guys to see the texture onto my skin which I mean we all have texture on our skin um, so well most of us um, I just want to show you guys the um, the texture that did come out on my skin as opposed to this side on in the application on this side of my skin so as you can see this side is very smooth um, the application is a very light as you can see instantly you could see the texture onto my skin is coming out a little bit more and this side does look a little bit more orange to me as opposed to this side this side I did set that corrector as well with a little bit of pressed powder so that um, corrector underneath was not going to move anyways because I already did set it in place with a um, translucent powder as opposed to this side you know it's more prominent to be able to move around and move and kind of mix with my foundation um, just because I did not use any type of um, translucent powder underneath my skin over here moving on to concealing or brightening your skin i actually did have this um concealer that i have been using for a little while um and it is also the la girl pro concealer this is in the shade nude um this is a little bit brighter for my liking so when i go in and use this i am going to use the lightest amount underneath my eye when i am applying that as well um so here i am just going to be doing a little bit of brightening um speaking of brightening as i stated in the palette that is going to be referencing that yellow shade right there to highlight and brighten like i said you can do the same thing with a lighter concealer um, if you do have one so when you are selecting concealer you want it to be at least two shades lighter than your skin tone and also just do what you're you know you're comfortable with as well results on this side you guys as you can see when I did apply that concealer it instantly did um, pretty much you know conceal that um, corrector that I did put underneath it I mean it's still very light the application looks flawless on this side as well which I love um, so I'm gonna use that same concealer um, and the same brush and apply that onto the left side of my face keep in mind I did not set this um, I did not set this corrector in place so as I am applying my concealer I'm noticing that that corrector is almost melting into that concealer causing my face to be a little bit more on the orangey side over here so I am just applying that on the eyelid as well um, if that is a place that you want to correct you are going to do the same process to the eyelid also just applying a very light layer of this corrector over you know the whole section of the eye even including the eyelid um, making sure you set that and applying some concealer over top idea is to correct and then conceal so you want to correct first and then you can go over and concealer and conceal the area do any type of cream products you want to make sure you set all of that in place so by doing so I am going to take this Morphe R1 brush to apply some translucent powder onto the face so um, so I am going to be back. I'm going to finish my face and I will be right back. Alright you guys, so that is pretty much it for my final look. I kept it pretty pretty light. I didn't do too much at all. I just went ahead and finished putting on some highlighter with some mascara and just threw on some lips some lipstick um, so as you can see with the final results after putting on my corrector um, this side of my face is um, 
in, in my opinion, a very, very good application of the corrector and the foundation doesn't look too cakey, too heavy on my skin. Now, as opposed to this side, um, you can still see some orangeness right there underneath the eye, as well as a lot of texture on this side of my skin, um, which is obviously what we don't want. We don't want it to look too cakey on one side as opposed to the other side. Um, so that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, you know let me know if you did like this video if you found the tips helpful like i said a like comment and subscribe show me some love you guys i am so so close to 100 subscribers please keep sending me your request um again i have some that are still coming your way um so i appreciate you guys just taking the time to watch this video i hope you guys did again find this helpful um but yeah that is pretty much it for the video and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.